when we first came to Miami, which was about 20 years ago, there was the incredible market on the way to West Palm Beach, huge market. And this all came from all the 50s. You could get it for absolutely nothing. I mean, we did a whole club, Sempers, called Sempers, with all the stuff from the junk shops. I fell in love with this orange. Because in the 60s, orange was like, oh, no, 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 I never have orange. It was a terrible color, like a ch cheesy, cheap color. That was Mexico. Oh, this was all the uh, artwork from Tony Wright, who was the art director on um, Chris Blackwell's Island Record. He did it. This is really beautiful. And this, this... It's my treasure. This came from the biggest drug dealer in the world, Pablo Escobar. Came from his house. <laughs> it, it wasn't impressing people before, but to me it was very impressive. So I went to the auction sale there. I wanted to see what his house was like, how he lived. And uh, because they had a huge auction, it was right on the water. Pretty boring, it looked like a hotel, except all the sort of personal stuff. Gloria Stefan's hotels. Oh, really? Series of flowers. So something. that's your design? Yeah. Wow, cool. I got this in Azerbaijan. Chris sent us, look, it's Elizabeth Taylor. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, somebody gave that to me for Christmas. Somebody said, you, you look like... Um, Carl Lagerfeld. Yes, here, here is woolly. <laughs> <laughs> it's made out of wool. And that was the Marlin, which was amazing. That was my first project for him. And they had studios down in the basement. Mm -hmm. And every, you know, it was like 20 years ago, every time you went into the lobby, you would see some terribly famous star, music star, like Bono, uh, Madonna. They, they used to ask me in the office, who did you see today? I said, oh, I don't know, some funny looking little person. <laughs> that was Prince. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, it was amazing. I mean, this was a fake picture of all the kids, like uh, the cooks and dressed up in all, all the sort of uniforms on oh. each floor. <laughs> oh, so that explains uh, every uh, floor. floor. Yeah. Oh, this is the girl. That's Mary. Uh -huh. That's Freddie Mercury's girlfriend. Okay. Do you and remember Freddie Mercury? Yes, he was there all the time. Uh -huh. He was always with Mary because they were together for a long time. And she was gorgeous. So we had her sitting in the ground floor on a sort of elevated thing that people could go and ask her where everything was uh -huh. and she was so adorable. Is that true that he tried on uh, all your um, cosmetics? Oh yeah, but all the boys did. <laughs> yeah, that's true because that was yeah. a rock oh, yes. Yeah, all the rock stars did. Uh, have you seen uh, Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes, I love it. Did yeah. you like the, the Viva in it? No. The entrance wasn't true because no. it was like no, a no, stairs. No, no. Absolutely not. Uh, no. The, 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 the last beaver was enormous, six floors, but we we grew from a little one to a bit like the second shop, really. Yeah. Famous photographers in the um, shop: Helmut Newton, Helmut Newton, Sarah Moon, uh, uh, Harry Petronotti, quite a few. Yeah. On each catalogue, we did a different. Uh, who did uh, creative direction? You? Oh, I did. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we had no cosmetic people. They did. We did it ourselves, and and always tried to use the girls in the shop. That's true. Because they were so skinny <laughs> and so lovely. Uh huh. Yeah. And that was Eva, who was in the shop. Um, she was uh, in the office. Uh -huh. She was uh, Hungarian. Oh. People, real people, secretaries and. It wasn't for the Hoi Polloi, uh, although the Hoi Polloi came to it. It was coming up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, because it was starting to be famous and very, you know, modern and 
trendy, so... Yeah. It's like with vintage now. Absolutely the same thing. Absolutely the same. Yeah. Can you imagine the vintage in those days was just amazing. I mean, it was like, oh, incredible. Real 30s stuff. Is there anything? Yes, there is. Wow. Uh, this was Sarah Moon. Actually, that's Ingrid. She was Ingrid Bolton. Um, she was not a girl from the shop, but that was somebody's baby. Was that velvet? Uh, corduroy. Oh. Do you know, corduroy's never had a comeback. They have come back. Oh, really? Yes, yes, this year. Actually, I bought two corduroy uh, pants because... Really? Of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it quite thick? I have one thick vintage uh, sweatshirt from oh, right. 70s. It's so cool. Oh, I love it. But it's not fabric because this was like velvet corduroy. Uh, this one, because mm. it's from 70s, probably, yes. But the new one is different. That's oh, yeah. true. Yeah. It's funny, but the velvet took cotton velvet's taken you a long time to come back now too, because it was all cotton velvet then too. So about uh, Helmut Newton? Yeah, he was great. He was lovely. Was he funny or more stiff? No, he was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> you expected him to be terribly. Uh, I was so frightened to ask him to come and work because I was like working my way through all the photographers of the time because I'd been a illustrator so I knew them they were like heroes and I thought oh that's yeah. the way I'm going to get at them you know and um, no he was wonderful and he was he, I didn't dare ask him because he was really big then and my uh, one of our first Bieber girls was from the first shop Liz Smith and she was a she was a edit, uh, fashion editor on the Observer, and she said, oh, of course I'll ask him, that's so silly. <laughs> and she did it, she said, yeah, of course he'd love to. Oh. And then when we didn't use him for the second catalogue, he said, why didn't you use me? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> and what was so amazing about him, he was just like half an hour. <sighs> real light and the girls knew exactly what to do bang 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 he was like uh, no no lift your arm like da, 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 da. don't look so silly <laughs> pleasure to meet him oh i know you met andy warhol oh yes yeah <laughs> after bieber i was working for Fiorucci and uh, when i was in milan he you know Fiorucci was fantastic he would say oh Let's go to New York. I want to see my shop they're building. So ten of us got on a plane and went to New York. He said, I want to meet Andy Warhol because I want to ask him to do a, a poster for us. Uh -huh. So we go to the, uh, the factory. Mm -hmm. It's a very smart sort of art deco The room. real factory from Andy Warhol? Yes. They had an ante room, you know, a sort of space which was, I was like shocked because the furniture was really, really art deco, very, very, from museum pieces. And uh, suddenly all these Italians we were with disappear through all the doors. And uh, because they wanted to see him working, his working space, and it was terribly funny. And suddenly he comes out really worried. <laughs> and he was, he was very sweet and very quiet. He said, he just, we chatted, and it was, it was great. It was really funny get, trying to get a, these enthusiastic Italians back from all the, the... They obviously found all the rooms where they were working, and, you know, <laughs> printing and so on. I try to be spontaneous and ask you questions I okay. always wanted to ask you. And of course, uh, they're going to be just uh, the questions from your life. I just start. Uh, what's your favorite food? Ice cream? What, yes, what flavor? Coconut. Coconut, okay. Oh. <laughs> and dinner? What's your favorite dinner? Ooh, I don't know. You don't uh, need dinner? <laughs> anything somebody else has cooked. Oh, okay. Yeah. Tea or coffee? Oh, coffee, yeah. Coffee. A black or white? White. Okay. If you would uh, call yourself with hashtag, what hashtag would it be? <gasps> Gee. Oh, 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 goodness. <laughs> oh, goodness? Yeah. Hashtag oh, goodness. Oh, goddess, maybe. Uh, of course, that's your favorite color, but if yes. um, in 60s or 70s, what was your favorite color no, patterns? No, you don't understand that black was a rebel color. Okay. You couldn't buy black, and it was like, wow, 
to get something black was real, really fantastic. But did you wear black before? Or? Yes, okay. yes, yeah. Because when you're, well, you would know, when you're working with a lot of color, you can't have color on you. That's true. Yeah. I'm getting more plain now. I was yes. very into colors before, yes. but now because of collages, I'm overwhelming with oh, colors. Oh, goodness, yeah. I'm wearing beiges it's and stuff. It's funny because I was looking at your blouse and I think, oh, collage. Would you like sneakers. to design sneakers? Yeah, oh, that's cool. I'd love to. I'm doing a few for this uh, brand lab, this company I'm doing a project with. Uh -huh. And uh, no, I love it because nobody's doing girl sneakers. I'm sick and tired of the boy sneakers that come mm -hmm. out. I've got big feet. But <laughs> I hate those ones that have got like a hump at the back. Uh -huh. And they're not very. And they sort of do that mm -hmm. instead of flat. That, yes. But you know, but that actually is good for your uh, that what, figure because it looks kind of like you're on heels. As long as you don't, don't do walk sideways. In it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like sneakers because people move nicely. Because mm -hmm. there was a moment with all the platforms, because we had platforms mm -hmm. in the 70s. I'll tell you a story about that. Um, and as they get higher, you, you're walking like a, like like a donkey. Like a robot, yeah. Donkey. And then they got so high that people couldn't move. They'd be standing. And I used to think, how are they going to come down again? This is absolutely <laughs> terrible. But you know how we came across the platforms? Because we were the first people to have them. Um, in Stern magazine, which is a German magazine, I saw this um, editorial about these hooker shoes they were making in, the, in Bavaria. <laughs> To me, it was just about, oh, perfect fashion. So Fitz and I got in the car and we drove to Bavaria. To this. And you stole shoes from what? hookers? What? And you stole the shoes from hookers? <laughs> yes, we went to the factory. And he was so happy to see us. And from then on, we had hooker shoes. <laughs> Platform shoes. Platform yeah, shoes. Yeah. <laughs> Big heels, big fat heels. Yeah. What's your biggest inspiration? Biggest? Um, mm, I don't know. Because it used to be shopping, but it isn't anymore. Why? It's, it's so boring, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's but you have a lot of pictures on your Instagram. Oh, yeah. Like shopping? Yes, That's your inspiration, historical. Right? Yeah, not historical. Historical. <laughs> okay. Historical. <laughs> What? Some of them are hysterical too. That's true. That's or the true. bottoms. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm especially doing this because in the, when we came here 20 years ago, it was all old ladies all dressed up like mad with marvelous glasses and, and people taking, people saying, oh, they look dreadful and take pictures of them. And now they're really valuable. <laughs> and I mean, these pictures that I'm not making them up, they're right outside my window. Yeah. <laughs> what values in people you admire? Um, oh, just generosity, spirit. 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 It doesn't matter, you know. They can be anything, anybody, any color, as long as they're nice. Person. Best compliment you have ever received? I know. I was just telling somebody the other day. Not until Bieber closed did I ever hear anything nice about Bieber. Would you believe it? When we were open, we had nothing but complaints. Really? Nothing but, I promise you. And we, we never used to go out at night because especially the men used to get at fits and start <laughs> about complaining about certain things. And me too, all oh, the buttons dropped off, or this, this and that. Didn't like the color. But uh, they still buy it, so. Yeah. What's your best memory from Biba? Oh, I think Vitold. Vitold? Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> My, well, he was lovely. He, he used to come into the shop with us. He came there all, every day, sort of after he came back from school, because he had a little desk next to me and he used to do a lot of drawing. And he thought all the girls were his sisters. <laughs> so <laughs> sweet.
<laughs> was he fashionable? Did he like no, the clothing? Not at all. No, no, he liked the pencils. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Pencils, yeah. But he had so much to do there because they would take him to other stock rooms and chat to him. And <laughs> no, he. But he was very influential in all the children's parts. Mm -hmm. he would tell us what is okay and what oh. isn't. <laughs> and when we left uh, for Brazil after Beaver, he never forgave me for giving away his Marvel comics. Oh. There is any uh, artist you admire? What kind of artist you admire? Art? I like a Frida Kahlo. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I like all of them. More abstract or more... Uh... Do you know, I'm funny because we went to see the... Um, Dior show, mm -hmm. half of it only, and then there was another uh, museum, amazing stuff, amazing. Mm. And it's funny because you go straight, I do, to the 60s painters, the mm. way they were painting the 60s. Mm -hmm. It's sort of Picasso way, they're obviously copying him, mm -hmm. but anybody that period is, that even is painting now or before, when you look at the early work, it's really fantastic. And it's funny, once the, um, in the museum in um, West Palm Beach, I think, and there I came across a room, which was a huge room, about two, three thousand feet, that were all Picasso, because I've, ooh, but it was one person's taste, which was so interesting. Mm -hmm. That was fascinating to see everything. Yeah, collector. Yeah, it was really incredible. You have been to the concert last time. Which Rolling one? Stones. Oh yes. How was it? <laughs> Two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was absolutely wonderful. Friends of a friend of mine in the last minute said, Come on, we got two spare tickets. Can you imagine? What? Hello. <laughs> we wanted to go but it was so expensive. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Um, they were amazing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> they were very good. But to me, it was like they were the boys that were hanging around the shop all the time. They weren't famous then. Cool. Not them, but you know, yeah. it's all the, that generation. And to have everybody like, wow, it was wonderful. Uh, what kind of perfume do you use? I don't. Do you have any Biba piece with you? Yeah, I do. I, I have the um, spotty coat, the leopard coat that uh, Twiggy wore in that, uh, in that famous photograph that Justin Villeneuve to took mm -hmm. in the leopards. Uh, but it's the grey colourway. Can I see it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, but wow. it, it was, um, I preferred it in the other one, but... Oh, can I try it on? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Talking heavy. about Twiggy, you're friends, right? Yeah. How often you see each other? Um, we talk to each other a lot. <laughs> they were good shapes. We still work very hard on the shapes. It's so fitted, nice. I love the I love the shoulders. One size so. <laughs> <laughs> if you sad, you just put the coat on, full coat on, <laughs> and you have a emotional support. <laughs> TV show obsession. Oh, I like anything that's filmed and is moving. Uh -huh. I just love films. Yeah. Love films. Whatever. Well, if you uh, would be able to master any instrument, what kind of instrument would it be? I would love to have had more patience with piano because as children we were Polish. Uh -huh. ah, you have to learn piano. My father was fantastic. He could play by ear. Really? Oh. Yeah. How would you define your style? Rock and roll? No. No? no. Yeah, I think so. No, really? Yeah. Very sharp, that's what I would say. Oh, I see. You know, like strong, that you oh, yeah. you, you can take uh, the Barbara off and keep the clothing and I will know it's you. Oh, really? Yeah, the signature <laughs> look. <laughs> a piece of advice for inspired uh, illustrators and designers. To inspire designers. And, oh, I, I 
find that if you're depressed, you just start drawing. I mean, to me it's drawing, to, to do something creative, because you just get very high. You've no idea. It's very addictive. Yeah, that's true. Sure. That, that's me. <laughs> yeah. I actually started collages because of, I, I felt depressed. And, and sort of um, advice you could give to young designers to be careful how they use their name, your own name. Thank God I didn't use my own name. Mm. Is that oh, that's it? true. Yeah, there's an advice there. It's just like, Ooh. when they come out of art school or something, they start a business and they put their name on. Because I, I was sort of pressurized to do that. And um, um, you, you do it and then you spend, then you bring in uh, people with money, partners, mm -hmm. and the first thing they want to do is to get rid of you. And then you've lost your name. And yeah. I know so many people now they've lost their name. I always remember Fitz coming in one day because we, we, uh, he's, oh, we had a mail order uh, article coming out. Fitz came in, you've got to think of a name. You've got to do a name. What are you going to do it? Ah. Ah. So I said, I, I, no, I'm not going to do my own personal name in case something goes wrong. I don't know, that was well before things mm -hmm. were like. And um, so we chose, uh, I said, oh, I know, I, I want it to be Polish and blah, blah, blah. And Beaver, that was my sister's, is Biruta, which is mm -hmm. Lithuanian, Beaver. Short, because all Polish names have got shortening. And um, I always remember taking it um, around to show people what they thought of it. Uh -huh. Oh, that's actually cool. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was terrible. No? Okay, because I was like, this, my friend who was on the Tatler magazine, she had a boyfriend who was a Russian prince in London. In London, right? And he, I said, what do you think about this? And he said, Ugh, it's a dreadful name. He said, it's like for a cleaner's daughter. I said, this is exactly <laughs> what I want it for. Exactly. <laughs> I want the cleaner's daughter in yeah, there. I, like I want it's, posh. it's clean and it's short. It's yeah. nice. No, he meant a cleaner being mm -hmm. very rude about cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing there. I thought, we, we've got the right name. <laughs> cool. well, I think you always hear complaints. No, it's not true. You do, not in America, not now, this generation, but you did at the time, it was terrible. And it's very funny because Fitz would never go out, ever go out, anywhere sort of to, it, I mean in the evenings that sort of people, trendy people would be there, mm -hmm. you know, sort of the latest, because they would attack him. But. Um, I've had to do a few talks in London, sort of at the colleges and things, and no, and, and other talks. And I always see one or two men, and I always know they're going to attack me. The women never do, oh. but the men always do. And but I, what what they say in general, for it's example? Sort of like something very negative. Maybe they were just jealous because you were a woman, successful woman. Oh yes, maybe. I don't know. I don't like. You, you're doing a happy talk, uh -huh. blah, 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 and then I put the... Oh, I have a YouTube channel, yeah. and it's in Polish now, and so far it's great, but yeah. I watch other girls, and whatever you do, they, there's always haters, always, and they yeah. always find the smallest thing, just to say something. That's what my mother used to say. It means we're criticizing ourselves as well. So, for example, um, yeah. here I discovered in, in America and in Germany when I was living, that people are more uh, friends to themselves, and that's very important because when you uh, put all that hate to yourself, then you put that hate to others, and yeah. that, this is how it yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Can no. you say something in Polish for us? Tak, ja mówię. Co? No, I don't. No, this is terribly funny because uh, there was a journalist, this was about a few years back, and Polish one, and I was talking to him in Polish, and he started screaming with laughter. He said, your Polish is so fashion. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. You know. I've forgotten it. Oh, you know, you didn't. No, no, no. I you know you didn't because I know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God.
don't be brave. Just no. say it. <laughs> no. You, we're gonna get so many likes. Just do it. Psha. Psha. Psha krep. Cholera. Cholera. <laughs> <laughs> this is for this one. Psha krep. Is it really bad? No. But it's just like an old school cute uh, curse, but it's not strong. It's like right. how, how it would be. Like in... Cholera, it's like, it's like damn. Damn. It's yeah. Damn. damn. Yeah. Yeah. Chakrev, the dog's blood. Dog is, blood. Nobody says that anymore. Yeah. What's your future plans uh, with designs? So any exciting projects? Yes, I'm just doing this fabulous project with that brand lab, which mm -hmm. is so interesting what's going to happen. There's another one too, two really good ones. But there's only one fashion one because fashion's so kind of finished now. We think? Oh, yes. I mean, business wise. Oh. Yeah, retail-wise, it's so, unless somebody thinks up a new way of doing it. Because mm -hmm. this thing online is like, it's hot, it's got no emotion, has it? Mm -hmm. And I think it's just too much. People are overwhelmed with that, and now, yes. of course, it's all about ecology because it's just too many stuff. Yes. Yeah. And it's overwhelming, so I think people will go more to vintage and to used. Yes. That's what I see, predicted. But I don't think vintage... Because it, the same thing happened in the um, 69. Mm -hmm. Suddenly there was a thing for vintage. Because it's like cleaning. Mm -hmm. When things got stupid, which they have really now, it's like cleansing. And then it will find its own level. Because mm -hmm. I, I always remember that period when we had the, maybe not the big shop, the third shop. Suddenly jeans came in. Uh, in England, jeans yeah. were workers they yeah. really what they were and really jeans and we put jeans in and they flew out but how how strange and, and they continued and i didn't think they'd continue at all hmm. and i th the same thing it's this, when the pattern of the stuff happening now is just exactly the same the same Thing of the older generation suddenly being out of touch with what the new and the new generation will try and do something that throws the older generation so they can't understand oh. what's going what, on. Do you have any predictions? Well now what the new generation's all into uh, what you know pure things and plas non plastic and blah 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 and um, I'm very interested to see how that ends because I'm trying to do a collection with just special clean fabrics mm -hmm. and nobody's doing it unless it's terribly, terribly expensive. It's like it is expensive, true. I mean it's thousands of dollars a yard. That oh. nobody's actually doing it yet. So you can't go and make a dress out. Okay. Except in Jersey. You can do that in Jersey, cotton. So it's not going to be for everybody, probably only for rich. No, I think they'll develop it eventually. Oh. But uh, uh, and the same thing of um, contacting people. Mm -hmm. That when um, when I was sort of doing illustration and we're starting the business, I could ring up all the secretaries that I knew from from the magazines. And people would turn up, thousands of people. It's exactly what, like online now, mm -hmm. completely. And the word would get, get out, oh. by by a certain you know level, young young people usually. And then it doesn't get around to the older ones. But when I honestly, truly, the other day when we were at the um, Stones concert, the when I saw that. The, what must have been 20,000 people over the age of 45 and I thought, Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is, why aren't people talking to older people? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's huge. Wouldn't there wasn't a lot of young people no. in the concert? Well, there were one or two. <clears throat> but maybe because it was expensive as well. Like young yes, people but, can't afford. but that's what I mean. But there's a huge market. Goodness <laughs> me. Interesting, really interesting. The same with magazines, you said 
last time that uh, you think magazines are over and I see it slowly. Even with the quality, with paper, yes. with prints, with even photographs, they are not that exciting anymore. No, it's terrible. It, I think solution, I mean there's no solution because of internet. Yeah. You know, they might get yeah. very cheap uh, pictures from uh, street yeah. fashion and stuff. And it's too, too stuck on to it now. Yeah. I mean, I find that, you know, having to go back into fashion and everything, mm -hmm. uh, doing, you, you've got to see the broad thing, what everybody else is doing, and there's no way of looking at it. Mm -hmm. There's just no... And if you look at the ads, for instance, in the Vogue, in the latest Vogue, uh, now that Gucci's doing so well, Dolce and Cabana's doing it. Michael Everybody Kors is does doing it. it. Michael that's Kors. Sure. I couldn't believe it. But I think that that stuff is bought by young people who have money or parents have money. This is the mm -hmm. interesting thing. They don't buy too much of everything. They just buy one thing. But it, it's like you think, oh, is it, what product are they buying? Is it? Well, then it's easy, it's sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, is it the bag? Is it the shoes? Is it the jacket? Um, I think there's going to be a huge crash mm -hmm. as far as fashion. Mm -hmm. I think that people will invest in good quality uh, statement pieces and yeah. the rest is going to be just vintage or thrifting. Yeah, in the future. and I think the problem is the fabrics because they use very cheap fabrics. Mm -hmm. True. And Ooh. Uh, I think if I was doing shops now, I'd go to the airports. Oh, yeah. interesting. Because your mind is like, oh, I must have something new. Quick. Yeah. Not on the return journey, but when you're going. and. Uh, and it's stupid rents, isn't it? And everybody, the minute, see, we found that right at the beginning when we, we had the shop, second shop, which was sort of like 2,000 feet, mm -hmm. uh, we thought, oh, uh, I came from Brighton, I know Brighton, let's do a shop there. And then I found Oh, Fitz, that's not, oh, this is so boring because all we're doing is we're not doing anything new. We're just re reproducing what's in London. So it's all figures. It's mm -hmm. just not interesting. And that's why I think they've killed themselves by making yeah. too many shops. Instead of making people come working out where's the best place in, in each town. And then everybody would come back. Because now you think, when you go somewhere, you think, oh, can I park there? <laughs> it's oh, that yeah, that's true. With parking, it's yeah. always a problem. Yeah. Even library. We have in yeah. Fort Lauderdale a very pretty library, and I thought maybe I will do workshops there with the um, collage. Yeah. But that woman, I met her, she was Polish actually, and I met her there. She was working there for 16 years. She said, that's the problem. Nobody comes to, li to the library because of parking. Yes. I know it's, so, it's pathetic. Yeah. There's any people that you would like to have a dinner with? Um, yes. Oh, Twiggy, always Twiggy. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's the best. She never changes. Now she's a dame as well. No, she's fantastic. Um, uh, um, uh, it would be nice to see all old friends, I guess. I love Ronnie Wood because I worked for him here, you know, in, in Miami when he did his uh, club, Woody's on the Beach. He's mm -hmm. fabulous. Yeah, and he's really nice. And all, you know, Chris Blackwell was always fun. And the Marlin was amazing in those days, incredible. Uh -huh. Everybody's starting to talk about the Marlin now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Any, any artists or um, people from the past? Whoever person you have in mind that you would like to have a coffee with? Um, I would, you know, we nearly had a Malena Dietrich in the mm -hmm. Rainbow Room. Uh, it would have been nice to meet her because apparently she was really, really nice. Oh, I love famous people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Yep, yep, yep. I hope it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully see you next time. Yes.